to do with you guys. And I can see how you will difficult and you do you try to do things. The last thing he did is where he had a difficulty problem. He tried to bridge that problem with several different tools and methods. Dremel will fix this thing for you. And you are learning to be slow with very good methods. Take a beautiful hand and a good steady hand. And think of Ricky Pie for a moment. Can't you see that Ricky Pie is a good player who can try and download whatever she likes and try to win? And he's the good player who always prepares many times the information, take it quicker, quicker pace, and try as well to pace it himself. It's all to you. Be a good one and you play the game and you have fun by the end. However, don't just appear as a good player. You could be solid enough with that difficulty and activate it yourself. So the latest new version and I'm about to show how to use this new keyframe in order to display your favorite game. Can you see the default view is showing only the Titan and Dremel at higher quality? One of the view features is creating a view template. A view template is two or three display spaces and you can display it many times the information. For example, if it's visible to you, you can put a different field in your new frame. So let's click on the new view template. Once you're here, you're about to create a body template, which is called Create View Template. In the body section here, we could add our different fields, or actually we could display anything that is needed in our body section. This view template is going to replace this body section of our drop, where we have only the automated display space. So, what do we need here? We could click the blue View button here and display it with the Dremel information. In the basic group, we have everything which is available for all frame styles, which means it's available for paints, stages, product, or any new frame style that you play. Below that you have the display mode, and also the custom field group that you create in Titan. Keep in mind that the view is written not only in Titan, but it could display also the custom fields for your engine theme, or some other plugin like the Burton plugin, the Upshape plugin, which provides many times the custom fields you want. So, now I would like to display a body field. Then, as an extra feature, we are going to display the sprite. We have an option how to display the sprite. We can manage the field in the value in field, in custom field, or in specific type option. We could also display the URL, which could give some extra information like the title of the new URL, the class, or the type of the new URL. We could also add the image, which is the image that we use when we have the sprite selected for the Titan. We could align it left, center, or right, which will better be of your image. And we can select the size of our image. Since you might have uploaded a very wide image like this, I'm about to use the thumbnail option and increase the size of the image. Once you click view again, we could add the expiration, which is the first field which we remember well. We could look at the color of the thumbnail and increase the expression. What we have here is our view template, which is about to display different types of information based on your custom frame style. We are about to create our new template and apply it to our frame. Let's get back to the paint group and click on the edit product link to set up our paint group. Going to the edit product link, we already have this available information for our paint group. In addition to that, when we add the view plugin, we have this meta box in the top right corner with custom frame styles. This allows you to select a view template that you like to display. We are about to select the body template here, click the update button, and refresh this muddy paint group. Clicking the refresh button, you'll see our extra information. This is the data that we just created with our view template. You see that it's not all that you see here, but you also see all the information there. Let's go back and edit our view template here. Let's delete the expiration from the thumbnail and add another expiration field. It's going to be displayed as a text box. Also, 
let's separate everything and let's separate the steps. You could use HTML tags. If you have some some front-end knowledge, you could add some HTML components to this. Let's say you are writing a new blog, you can split HTML components and separate the blog. So we are just writing a new blog, everything is in one module. I'm going to delete the image that I have in my folder. Okay? And I'm going to add up these two images together. Now, I'm going to add the bonus image once again. But this time I'm going to display it right away. It's going to be the thumbnail once again and with the instant search for it. And I'm going to display it at the very bottom. Let's say it is a gateway to template and it was a summary page. As you see, we have a second style view, we have the body, the sprite, the URL here, the only text information is the header, and the body template. Now, you can get good templates, but you could use it for others. Stay tuned with the other view features that you can get in your WordPress, and definitely listen to the same advice that I just gave you.